I'm Luke Hatfield alongside me, Shrewsbury Town correspondent here at the Shropshire Star, Lewis Cox. Lewis, Shrewsbury Town did not have a good weekend last weekend, yep. did they? Can they have a better one this time around? Hopefully, touch wood. Um, yeah, it's a very disappointing home defeat to Fleetwood. Mm. Uh, and yeah, shame they didn't have a Tuesday night game to, to be able to put it right, really. But go to Tranmere, mm -hmm. of course, managed by Mickey Mellon tomorrow. Looking forward to that trip to, to Birkenhead. Uh, a lot of town fans going as well. Um, you know, they've sold out the 650 tickets they were sent. Town have, and expect quite a few more to um, to be heading up to Merseyside. So, mm -hmm. could be you know getting on towards a thousand, which would be a great away day for, for town fans. It's a good good place to go. I haven't been there in a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I think when you're taking a good good section of away fans, it's not too far from Sh from Shrewsbury, of course. I think it comes a bit more pressure to to put in a performance. Obviously, like you said, they really need to to put in a a performance and respond from from the disappointment of, of the home defeat last time. So it's so a bit riding on it, you know, before you even get into the factors of Mickey Mellon and, and, and things like that. So yeah, it should be an eventful one. Yeah, and as you said, it's so so important not to you know not to ha have a hangover from that, from yeah. that Fleetwood game, isn't it? Because you don't. The last thing you want is to consider goal first 10, 15 minutes. Just keep things nice and secure, and then grow into the game. Yeah, of course. Um, you know. The, the big concern from you know maybe not the 3-0 scoreline to, to Joe Barton's Fleetwood who are of course third uh, it's more so the reaction to to going a goal down when Town were totally on top and dominating the game you know get hit on, on what is a counter attack but a rare foray forward from Fleetwood and, and totally really lost confidence and lost their heads so yeah. we hope that you know, and obviously spoke to Sam Ricketts and uh, at a press conference yesterday. He said, tra you know, training has been fine for the week. Spirit's been good. So we hope you know there won't be any sort of lingering head loss from that. You know, hopefully the defeat, defeat won't prove deflating and sort of damaging moving forward. And mm. and yeah, you are. You know, you want to get a foothold going into Tranmere, and ultimately it's going to be a passionate home crowd. You know, hopefully a rowdy away end, and and, and town can keep the home fans sort of quiet. Uh, do a bit what Fleetwood maybe did at the Meadow last weekend and, and, and get up for all in the game, you know, even if even if the home fact the home team were having the better of it, mm -hmm. you know, try and nick the goal early. Listen, if you're going by the League One table, town are higher than than, uh, than Tranmere and have the better yeah. start. So, you know, the Tranmere's defence is by no means sound and, and town will hope that there's uh, there's some joy for them there. Yeah, certainly and you know, as you said, uh a familiar face in Mickey Mellon. Yeah. Um, what can we expect from him and his side? Uh, interestingly, maybe the unknown. Um, I think Rickett said yesterday, and and something that will ring some bells with town fans in that Tramway have used varying uh, formations this season. Mm -hmm. And you know, Mickey Mellon did certainly at the end of his town tenure. You you, you know, try different things when things weren't working. You know, revert to different systems and try and find something that works. Yeah. So so Rickett says yesterday that Tramway have. Have picked and choose different uh, different styles, which which is interesting. Uh, be, I think I, uh, I think my Tranmere counterpart said to me yesterday that that they're likely to use the same system as Town actually, mm -hmm. the, the three five two. So whether the systems will match each other up there, that will be interesting. They're very, I say, they're susceptible at the back. They're very light at the back as well. Yeah. Um, said yesterday that they got a centre half injured. It leaves them with one fit defender. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that injured one might have to soldier through. Uh, but again, it's another reason why Town can go there opt you know, with optimism. I think I had a count in they've kept one clean sheet in eleven in all competitions, which is not very good, is it at all? And should give you know Shrew some real optimism going there that they can go and get get the right result. Tramit did win there last time at Prenton Park two one against a decent Burton side. So it's by no means a foregone conclusion, but Tramit would have I suspect hoped for a slightly better start. They're twentieth, you know, twentieth at the minute. Albeit some sort of comfort away from teams below them that are, that are really struggling, you Southampton yeah. and Wimbledon and, and Bolton's obviously, but Town are twelve. I don't, you know, talking about the table at this early point of the season. There are only four points between them. So mm. if if, if the home team get the win tomorrow, you know, hopefully they don't. But but that gap will be cut to one, and and Town will be just nervously looking over their shoulder a bit more. So yeah, that you know, we want to be. Certainly putting last week right, get giving putting fans at ease a bit more because there were some concerns obviously coming out of the Fleetwood game and you know, this is a game where town are even though they're away they're mm. probably favourites. I haven't looked at the odds, but you know, going by the table and results and, and probably squad power and depth they, they should be favourites and yeah. you know, a bit of emphasis for them to go and, you know, be attacking um 
show a bit of intent, score the goals. It'll be interesting to see how they they obviously face it. Shrewsbury, you know, we think uh, Fajiri Akinabiri might be involved. Mm. Uh, return to training, whether he makes the bench, you know, it's a stretch to see him starting. But um, yeah, so a bit of intent, bigger way end. Hopefully, the curse of former, you know, to play, well, certainly. Certainly, first team managers with, with Mickey Mellings, as we've reported, you know, he will really want to get one over town, mm. um, and that's without saying that you know Stefan Payne's up front for for, for Rovers, which you know, spells disaster going by town's record of former players. Hopefully, be able to keep him quiet and shut the door on him. Bit of a concern that uh, Ethan Ebanks Landau misses out mm. for Shrews, who's been a real rock so far. He's out of a hamstring problem, uh, so we'll see the other three centre halves involved there. Listen, it's the it's the last game. They they uh, don't play next weekend town because the Berry game being called off. Yeah. So, you know, it's go fortnight without a league game. It's certainly, given the the bigger way following, want to want to sort of sign off in style. Yeah, it should be a good game. Can Shrewsbury Town bounce back? We will find out for all the latest on them. Make sure you stay with Shropshire Star.